Stupid like Bună it's ziua. hot. Bună ziua. Bună ziua. My name is uh, Mukinka. I was born in Zambia, which is in Africa, but I grew up in Belgium. And uh, now I'm living here in Romania. So for me, one of the most obvious things between the Belgian people and the Romanian people is that the Belgian people are very politically correct. Belgian people are afraid to say anything. I once had a lady afraid to call me black. I'm black. She said, I saw someone that is like you. <laughs> What do you mean? One meter 80? No, like you, like you. <laughs> okay, very PC. And then you come to Romania. I mean, even the Muncitor are like, Băi, Tupacule! Ui, te-a venit Tupac! I once went to get a shawarma, and there were these 14-year-olds looking at me. Hey, Maniga! Maniga! Maniga, și eu sunt rapper! Eu nu fac rap deloc. Deloc. Hi. I get asked a lot, you know, what is it like living in Bucharest compared to where you've lived before in Belgium? You know, for me, Bucharest is a place of many flavors. There's something for everybody. It's like a pizza, and you sprinkle some ferentar sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> some sauce piquant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have many things I could tell you. Many experiences living in Romania. I went to a wedding, La Tzara. <laughs> Have you ever seen The Matrix? As soon as I entered, everybody froze. Everybody stopped moving. I could hear someone whisper, Cine a lăsat un negru să intre aici? Star interminția asta, română, ce deștept! They were looking at me. The entire time, they were looking at me. And then, it came to dance horror. And as they were dancing horror, I could see some of them were holding their phones in their chest, filming me. They thought I couldn't see it. And then I decided I'm going to shock the Batruni. <laughs> I'm going to dance horror as well. And I do it, I really dance. <laughs> and, and the Batruni are there. Viz, viz, wait a day, wait a day. Dance as a bina, chiar. Ka Michael Jackson dar hora. I figured out a few things, right? I found the solution to all the world's problems at a Romanian wedding. It's called Palinka. <laughs> When they get drunk on Palinka, they become my friends. Yes, they are nostru, suntem împreună. Nu contează ce culoare ai. Hai de băiatul meu. Hai, frate, mă vezi tu? Globalizarea începe cu o palinca bună. And I started to study Romanian weddings. I started to figure out things. I figured out every Romanian wedding has certain types of people present. There's a recently divorced auntie, Olguza. And she's dancing to get the young boy's attention. Uh, 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 she's going for it. But she only attracts Uncle Mirel. I do, Olguza. I do, Olguza. I do, Olguza. is there. Lasse me, Mirel. Lasse me. I do, I do. He's 64 years old, but he can still do this. Boy. <laughs> Uncle Mirel. It's amazing, huh? There's the steal the bride, right? Loads of traditions. Romania still has a lot of traditions in the culture. I didn't grow up with a lot of tradition, but then I got invited to a baptism here. You can imagine how excited I was, right? Um, it was my cumnatul's daughter, <laughs> Adika Nepoata Ma's baptism. I have to say it like that. I have to say my cumnatul's daughter, Adika Nepoata Ma. Because if I just say Nepoata Ma, and someone sees me with a white kid, they'll be like, no, you okay. Nu se poate, nu se poate. Yeah. <laughs> and we're there in the church. Everything's happening. The priest with a deep voice. There's candles everywhere. And at some point, everything goes quiet. Silence. And I'm thinking, what's going to happen? I see a candle flicker. <laughs> and then the priest goes, Lapida de Satana! Lapida de Satana! And the Nash are shouting back, Lapida de Satana! Lapida de Satana! I'm looking around. Nesim situle! I'm not a witch! <laughs> and the next day, there's the bath, the bath, you know, the baptismal bath of the child. The Nash wanted to make me feel a part of it, so they gave me the candle. They said, here, you hold the candle. I'm holding the candle, and they bring the bath, and they fill it with water, and then they put flour, 
honey, spices, money. Now look, I know voodoo when I see it. <laughs> you can't convince me that's Christian. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I consider Romania my home, actually, and it's because of you guys. You guys are really amazing people. You're really lovely people. I uh, had a friend. His name uh, is Christy. He phoned me when he didn't know me. He said, hey, man, listen, want to go to the movie, catch a movie? I'm like, sure, man, that's very nice of you to invite me. Yeah, let's go to Piazza Sudului. Sure, fine. I made a mistake. I drank a lot of water, so I said, Christy, you choose the movie. I don't care. I have to pee. I went to the bathroom. I came back. Me adus bilete, like 12 years a slave. Frate. I said, Christy, what's this? I thought you missed your family. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the movie had already begun. So when we walk in the cinema hall, they could only see Christy and some floating shoes next to him. For those who don't know, 12 Years a Slave is a movie about slavery in America. So basically, black people being whipped on the screen the entire time. As we sit, there's this Romanian girl not too far from me. She's sitting there and she's crying the entire time. <laughs> and the boyfriend, like a real Romanian boyfriend, caring, sympathetic. Touch too. It was a drama, touch. And I realized we're in this cinema hall with maybe 200 people, and I'm the only black person here. When those lights come on, <laughs> I'm doomed. The lights came on. The girl is wiping her tears. <gasps> and then she sees me. She looks at me, shocked, speriat. She looks at me. And then she looks at the screen. And then she looks at me again. And she goes, technology. Yeah, I'm for smoking, Bună seara, rumor! Bună seara! Să moară capra vecinului! <laughs> Știu ce vrea să zice Chelo. Ce? Nimic. <laughs> uh, 30 november, it was uh, Sfântul Andrei, right? So if your name was Andrei or Andrea, people would say La Muțan and give you kisses. Soon, it's gonna be Sfântul Ion, right? So if your name is Ion, Ioan, Ioana, People will say La Muzan and give you kisses. Mwah, mwah. My name is Mukenka. <laughs> People give me kisses and wish me La Muzan on Black Friday. Bravo. Dada. I'm sure from the last time I was at Ayumor, I got a lot of questions from people. What is it like to be you? What is it like to be black in Romania? I'll tell you, every weekend I go to Dragonu Roșu with Mama Swakra. <laughs> Mama Swakra is confused at Dragonu. Because the thing is, only a foreigner with bad Romanian can understand another foreigner with bad Romanian. <laughs> the Chinese is there. I'm there. I bring that price down to 50 lei. The Chinese know me by now. Oh, you negro. I asked the name of one of the Chinese guys, you know, and he told me the name. I couldn't pronounce it till this day. And I realized it must be the same way people feel about my name. My name is Mukinka Chibanga. Now, you see, I was born in Zambia. So my name, Mukinka Chibanga, it's not special in Zambia. You know, then I moved at a young age to Belgium. And they would ask me, what's your name? Uh, Mukinka Chibanga. Okay, Kiki. <laughs> Mom. And then at the age of 17, I moved to Scotland and I caught the last year of high school. And uh, in high school, they have something you guys call Sostriga Katologu. And so they were calling out the names Emma McLeod, here. Jamie Allen, here. And then it was my name because I could see the teacher looking. Mukin Ken Dong Chibong Long. <laughs> I'm like, what happened to my name? <laughs> it's like my name went to jail and dropped the soap. <laughs> Whoa! Excellent. Scottish people are crazy. I lived in Scotland for some years. And uh, to compare Scotland and Romania, Romania, summer is a nice few months. 
In Scotland, summer is a nice day, and the Scottish people go crazy. They take off their shirts, they call it tops off, and they walk around shirtless in their Centrovec. But I had more dignity, so I left myself in a mail. So when it was summer here in Bucharest, uh, I was walking around in Centrovec in my mail, and I didn't realize that culturally that makes me a munchitor. <laughs> <laughs> I... <laughs> I personally enjoy to discover a place by walking and moving around. You know, I remember I used to take myself on romantic midnight walks in Obor, <laughs> and the prostitutes would be shouting at me, Hey, chocolatica! O sute pentru tine! I enjoyed going everywhere, by foot, by metro. I mean, you can get anywhere in Bucharest by metro, except for Drumul Tabre. <laughs> <laughs> when I ask someone who's from Drumul Tabre, unde locuiesc? Drumul Tabre, ma. They're ashamed to say it. It's like Bucharest doesn't want it and Ilfov doesn't want it. E copilul tău, nu e altă, So, when I talk about the metro, right, it reminds me of something that happened Akum um, Chan. You see, the thing is, there's not a lot of black people uh, in Romania. Okay, you have Cabral, the, he's one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> he's Moldavian. <laughs> so five years ago, the news was spreading. Ebola, Ebola, coming out of Africa. Ebola, Ebola. And then when I get on the very crowded metro in the morning, like Moses, <laughs> or the bunikas, <laughs> <laughs> People were running away, running away scared, but I wasn't offended. I wasn't offended. I was happy. Oh, I can finally stretch. Oh, I've not been able to do this in a while. I was happy. And I realized something. With absolute power comes absolute corruption. I became like a dictator with a biological weapon. I just needed to look at someone and cough. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> I became cocky, I became arrogant. I would go to places I would never go to. I would go to a club, the Manele, and I would see all these Barosans, and I'd just walk up to them and cough. <coughs> all of them would run away to their BMWs with Bulgarian plates and drive off. Exceptional. Bine, bro. Taxi driver telling me, Patru zeci de lei? Ce is this? <coughs> Patru lei, frate, Patru lei. <laughs> 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 Times have passed. I, uh, I got married uh, to a Romunka. And uh, the thing about my wife is she forgets I'm black. You know, when you're, when you're with someone, you forget certain attributes about them. The most obvious attribute, you forget it. And so she will be, we'll be at the seaside, La Mare, and she'll be like, Hi, Sene Bronza Mumpik. I just look at her. Poate tu. Here's the stool, the bronza. She forgets. She doesn't keep it in her mind. So once, she took me to visit a matusha of hers, La Tzara. <laughs> and uh, the matusha was fine with it. You know, she's younger, she's in her 50s, she was expecting us. But she invited a bunika who did not know I was coming. And so when we got there, you know, my wife greets the bunika first. Saramuna, mwah, mwah. And then she moved to the side. And then the bunika saw me. And she just stood there like this. So I walked up to the bunika and I greet her. Saramuna, mwah, mwah. And she just stayed like this. I thought she died. <laughs> and then after that, we went into the house. Um, I was sitting on an L-shaped sofa, L-shaped. I'm sitting on one side, the bunika sitting on the other side. Uh, my wife and the matusha, they're just, you know, talking. Typical Romanian uh, women way of talking. And then they kept talking and they went into another room. And they didn't realize they left me and the bunika there alone. So I'm looking at her. She's looking at me. And I can see she's gathering up strength. Haide, Georgica, haide. Tu put să faci asta. And I'm like, I'm going to break the ice. But she spoke first. Dacă ești un negru, nu este o problema. I'm like, ce ai zis tu? That's not what I said. I said, Saramuna. <laughs> My wife and I, are also expecting a child. Um, a little girl, she'll be uh, born in January. Bravo. 
Bravo. Thank you. Uite, mă! Uite, acum mi s-a spus în cască o informație foarte drăgărașă. Uite, ea este. Da, ea este. Oh, Săruna. Bună seara! So, when I tell people we're expecting a child, they tell me, oh, wow, ce drăguț să o să fie, omul latri cu părul creț, wow. When they're talking with my wife, um, they're like, oh, wow. Because, you know, she's blonde and blue-eyed. So they're like, wow, poate o să aibă ochii albași. Wow, ce frumoasă o să fie. And then when Mama Swaka is talking with her friends, their reaction is, Doamna ajută, Doamna ajută. Poate o să iasă alb. Eu am fost Mukenka, vă mulțumesc. Doamnelor și domnilor, aplauze pentru invitatul nostru special de astăzi, Mukenka! Now here, here comes the goddamn winner. Încă o dată vă mulțumesc pentru votul. My daughter, in the meantime, has been born. And uh, it's the most amazing feeling to be a parent, you know. S-a născut! S-a născut. And uh, when she was born, the nurses told me to follow a nurse to a neonatologia. So I was following the nurse, but she did not know I was behind her. So I'm following the nurse, and she arrives to the doctor. Doamna doctor, avem aici un copil foarte frumos. Mama e blondă, are ochi albaști foarte frumoase. Dar tatăl e... Oh, el e tatăl. Bună. But I got along with the people at the neonatology and the moasha and everyone. Um, at the end, when I was leaving with my wife, they said, uh, Voi ați făcut un copil foarte frumos. Mai faceți? I responded... Nu o să mă opresc până în România o să fie neagră ca mine. După Popescu Cibanga will be the most popular name. My daughter is a Romanian. So she will grow up, go to other countries, and she will say, I'm from Romania. And people will look at her confused. The same way people used to look at me confused when I first came to Romania. Uh, they would ask me, like a taxi driver once asked me, My friend, uh, where are you from? I'm from uh, Africa. You, Africa, you don't look African. You look too good. Ever been insulted by a compliment? <laughs> But I get it, you know, because I don't have a strong accent. So we would think I'm an African-American. Why American? Because we're all conditioned by the American accent. Movies, television, music, everything, the American accent. I mean, aliens come to planet Earth and it's the American accent that they meet in movies. I'm waiting for the day when aliens land on planet Earth in an Arabic country. <laughs> Ahmed! Ahmed! Come! Ahmed! Come! Ahmed! Yella, yella! Leave the camera, Ahmed! Yella, yella! What? What, Jamal? Oh, oh! It's the Americans again, huh? They come with a new ship. And then they open the ship. We come in peace. That's what you told Syria. Go. We don't believe you. Go. Go. <laughs> the American accent. It's easy with the American accent. All you have to say is, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't you ask? What's Louis? You know what I mean? Oh, what's Louis Brooklyn? <laughs> Very easy, but we're not, we're different. Africans and African-Americans are different. We get angry different. In fact, everybody gets angry different. In Belgium, where I grew up, when they're angry, they just breathe. And then they call the police. <laughs> Romanians, when they're angry, you don't even need to see the angry Romanian. You were just gonna hear more. <gasps> There's an angry Romanian here somewhere, I can feel it. African Americans, when they're angry, hey yo, what you say? What you say? Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> Done. Africans, when we're angry, what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> you don't do drive-bys. Who we'll come running past you? Chef <laughs> Ostasta. Styling is state. It's only my blood. You now have malaria. <laughs> We're different, we're different. And when we uh, curse, 
we curse differently. I mean, uh, for instance, you guys curse uh, with your mother's onions, chapamati. <laughs> you tell an African chapamati, he'll say, thank you very much, my friend. Eh? <laughs> chapamati should see, eh? She la mama, la tata, la tata familia ta chapamati, my friend. Eh? Mm, I like onions, delicious. But my all-time favorite people in the world for cursing are Indians because they get English translated to Punjabi and then translated back to English. You bitch man, shit man, bitch. Go to your family. <laughs> go. And then they'll feel really tough. They'll go to their friends. Ravindra Apne, I really insulted him, yaar. I told him to go to his family. I disrespected him, yaar. Africans, when we curse, we go home, get a voodoo doll, and curse you properly. You just be walking. There's something, some similarities that I've seen. And I thought only Africans have this. I saw it here in Romania when I was shopping, La Cumparatur. I was shocked that I saw it. I'll give you an example so you understand what I'm talking about. In Africa, beating children is normal. You beat them because they did something, you beat them because they're crying about it. You beat them at home, you beat them La Piazza, you beat children. I was beaten as a child. And uh, we moved to Belgium from Africa. And my parents only beat me at home. But <laughs> when we're uh, La Cumparatur in front of all the white people, it was a different situation. And I saw that situation here in Romania. There was a kid running around going crazy, ah, hitting all the things, and his father got angry. Vlad, Vlad, Tati, vino coche, vino coche. Tati, nu faci asta, fi cu minte. O să vezi tu când o să ajungem acasă. Eu am fost Mukinka, vă mulțumesc. Mukinka, Chibanga! Bună seara și bine v-am regăsit! Bună seara! Mă bucur să fiu aici alături de voi, chiar dacă este în perioada asta mai ciudată. Cum încep? Coronavirus. This thing has flipped the entire world on its head, right? At the beginning of the pandemic, I remember, uh, there was a bit of racism towards Chinese people. And I could tell, I could tell. I was walking at night and I saw a bunica at the bus stop and I decided to scare her. I went, boo! And she went, oh, oh Eduardo Negro. Oh. <laughs> Flip the world upside down. Every continent has been affected. Have you noticed? Every continent but Africa. I mean, people are going on holiday to Zanzibar. It's a trend now. Because Africans, I'll tell you what, after Sudan de Sclavier, then after that you have colonialism, then after that you have Rosboy and Totfel de Bol, and then coronavirus comes running along, the Africans are like, Duta Madaich. <laughs> after I came the last time to Ayumor, a friend told me that the chair is this case African, I crescut in Belgium, no yeast African. Look, I grew up in Belgium, but my parents beat me, so I am African. Did you see Roman? You see, beating was very normal because my dad was beaten by his parents with a belt and with sticks. And so he thought by only beating me with his hand, he's showing me love. <laughs> Come on, don't look at me like that. I know some of you were beaten cu furtunul de la mașina de spalat. Se întâmplă și la voi, știu. Bă, dar nu era greu, trebuia să-l demonteze sau avea unul no, separat. Ieșea no, no. imediat și dădea. Ah. So the point I'm trying to make is, you know, okay, yes, I grew up in Belgium, but I am African at heart and țineți minte asta, for the next part I'm going to tell you, right? When I came to Romania, the first apartment that I rented was in uh, Piața Iancului. I rented it from a um, couple that were like pensionar. Very lovely couple. The man's name was Emil. So Emil didn't speak any English. At the time, I didn't speak any Romanian. So he called me Kenis. I didn't, I didn't correct him, right? Because cum. So I just left it. I'm Kenis. Most of our conversation about bills were him telling me, Kenis, Kenis. And I'll just give it to him. That was most of our conversations. Now you see Emil and his wife, 
they, they lived in that block and they grew up there. So all the vecin, other pensionar, they're their friends. So they told them about me. There's this guy from Africa, Kenny, living in our apartment. And so these people, they used to greet me when they would see me going to work. Buna, Kenny's. I'm like, I'm not Kenny's. Buna. <laughs> and then when the first winter came, and my first winter in Romania, and it snowed overnight like crazy. It snowed all the way up to here. She checked You all are surprised. You know, that was the Yarna Pebuna, all the way up to here. And the next day, I'm going out of the building, and I see the pensionar. They're cleaning the snow, they're walking their dogs, talking to each other, they're doing stuff. And as soon as I exit the building, they see me, and they stop, and they start smiling. I was wondering, why are they so happy to see me? I've never seen people so happy to see me like this in my life before. And then I remembered, they think I'm from Africa. They think I'm seeing snow for the first time in my life. And then they shout at me, Kenis, Kenis, Witate, Zapada. Now, now I wasn't gonna spoil this moment for them, but I'm not Kenis, so I picked the snow and I just started licking it. <laughs> not Kenis. Now, some of you wouldn't do that in my position because you're sophisticat. And <laughs> I've been thinking about this, right? Human beings, we tend to put a lot of labels on ourselves. Sophisticat, educat, all these things. We look at the caveman and we say, that's the caveman. We're different. We're better now. We're higher up. And I've been thinking about it. How do we get the pure human out of everyone? Alcohol. <laughs> Alcohol brings it all up. I have been to Romanian parties. You guys know how to really throw a party. Most parties in other countries, they go up to here, then they go down. But Romanian parties, they go up to here, and then they go even higher. It's impossible, but it happens. Între și începe. So people are drinking, drinking, having a great time, and they're there. Uno, doi, tre. Voi o membo and the pure human shows up. <laughs> now look, I'm not saying we love Manele, that we're Manele lovers. That's not what I'm saying. But we all want to make money. We want to make Drago stay with beautiful people. I want to say some more to me. And with this, I want to thank you very much. Bravo, okay. Bravo, okay.